Hello everybody and welcome to another weekly update. Um, this week I'm actually at the Inkscape Hackfest here in Germany and so unfortunately I won't be able to sit down and go through all of the things that I've, we've managed to do this week. But uh, yeah, it's been very successful. Um, about 11 people came and we've basically been um, planning and programming and um, basically just also having some fun, which is good, because you know we, we work to, together online a lot, and uh, we don't always get a, a chance to just talk and have fun and you know tell st stories about things. But yeah, some in very interesting stuff, some new fe features that are being developed, uh, a lot of bug fi fixes and um, planning for the release to make sure that we get it right. Um, uh, less stuff going on with graphics because there's not very many people who are doing a design or a website or anything like that here this this time. Uh, previous hack fests we've had um, basically web web designers and stuff who, who we would do some website stuff, but um, it was mostly just the the core pro programmers extensions that's the sort of thing. And so I'm actually come in the morning so I can make this recording before everybody gets here. So. I will do a little bit of a whip round. I, I've, during the week, what I've done is I've um, interviewed a bunch of different developers, and then I'll, I'll be adding them on to the ends of the videos for the next few weeks. So hopefully you'll get to know some of the other Inkscape developers who, unfortunately, you've not had a chance to meet because they don't make videos themselves, uh, but they do important work inside of the pro project. So yeah, let's go. Okay, so, Nico, uh, uh, what have you been up to for this this this, week, this year's Hackfest? Um, well, yeah, um, lots of things. <laughs> I've been programming on the Adobe Illustrator format of Importer. Excellent. Yeah, and uh, we got a bit further. That's quite nice. Um, so, yeah, where did we start? We just started with being able to parse the file a little bit and now we're able to um, even open some documents already if they are in awesome. the wrong format. Awesome. Have you, um, have you had a good time? Mm -hmm. Have you had a good time? Yes, I think so. Excellent. So we assume we will have Adobe Illustrator files yeah. openable? Yeah, excellent. And uh, the feedback to improve it. Excellent. Well, nice work. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, now we're going to have a quick interview of yeah. Chris. <laughs> Sorry, Chris. Unfortunately, you have the cake in my hand here. <laughs> so, <laughs> what, I need to find a plate. What have you been up to for this, this year's hack Hackfest? Uh, yeah, I've been helping uh, fight bugs by uh, reporting and um, testing and building Inkscape for the very first time. Have you, have you had a good time? <laughs> I've had a great time. Um, I've also been doing some uh, UX mock-ups for a new feature that will enable um, um, auto alignment. So you can have a, or an object that is actually um, aligned horizontally and vertically at the same time. And if you um, edit the uh, the outside object, it will actually uh, reposition that automatically. So then it's kind of like for uh, UX mock-up uh, people are really going to like that, like yeah. myself. Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, hola. Hola, buenas. Hola, Javier. ¿Cómo estás? Bien. Um, ¿Qué trabajas? Programador. Programador. Y sé yo también un poco. Ah, y uh, en este Hackfest? Este Hackfest. <laughs> Lo siento. Mi español es muy mal. Esto, eh, estaba haciendo para que el, el LPE file transfer tenga, tenga los, los tiradores más visuales, más fáciles de usar. Sí. Y luego estaba haciendo una, un cambio en los, en los, en los LPEs o Live Artifacts para que para mover la parte de, de interface de usuario a, una, a otra zona y poder así hacer los LPs, los light path effects más flexibles, eh, no dependiendo un, de un diseño siempre igual y pudiendo hacer cosas más libres. Sí, gracias. Um, uh, ¿Te gusta uh, el Sí. Sí. 
Disfruta mucho. Gracias. So, Mark. Hello. What have you been up to for, for, for the Hackfest? Oh, many things. Uh, no, I've participated in most of the discussions and I've coded a dialogue that on crash gives you a backtrace that allows developers to basically know why it crashed. Oh, excellent. You had a good time? Yeah, excellent. Okay, let's go find some other developers. I think this one's this this one's going to run away. Hey Jonathan, what, what have you been up to for, for the Hackfest? Uh, mostly administrative stuff, helping uh, Nico along with the. Uh, uh, we're getting started with the Ingex. Yeah, you had a good time? I had a good time. Excellent. So, Rene. <laughs> Yeah, okay, I'm going to repeat half of what he said, like, yeah, I've had a good time as well. You've also been working on the administration? No, I did, uh, I did, some, uh, did some bug hunting, yeah. some advancements for the build pipeline, basically under the hood stuff. Yeah. Um, yeah, I would say participated in the important discussions of things we are not going to announce just yet. Excellent. Thank you. Okay, we'll go around the table, table, table. Mr. Taff? Yeah. <laughs> what have you been up to for this hack uh, Mostly working on GTK4 things. Trying to figure out what has to be done, uh, trying out some things. Uh, yeah? Seeing if I can get things to compile. Of course, that's a long, not, long road. It's a long road, yeah. Uh, you had a good time? Of course. Excellent. Thank you. Okay. I'm going to do the, how we did this. Have a Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> hey, so what have you been up to for, for, for the Hackfest? So I've been mostly working on updating the uh, snap packaging for 1.3 to be able to do the Python depths and all the things that people have added over the 1.3 pipeline. Uh, raggle pi uh, building and all kinds of fun stuff. Um, also been working on a lot of uh, administrative stuff, trying to make sure that the back end still works for Inkscape and developers don't have to worry about it. Excellent. Have you had a good time? It's been great. It's been great to be, I've never been to this area of Germany. It's uh, very interesting and we had less sauerkraut than I expected. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Okay, so now we have a not Inkscape developer, but Pano. Hi. Um, you, how, what have you been up to for the Inkscape Hackfest? Yeah, mostly governance and administrative stuff. I've been trying to hear what people think about Inkscape, how the project's going, and looking at new fundraising and outreach opportunities. Excellent. You had a good time? Great time. Excellent. Thanks, Bono. Okay, let's go around. You can have a little look at the, the full room. Thomas. Hi, Martin. Uh, what have you been up to for, for the Hackfest? Uh, mostly the macOS manual, so it's one issue, but it's an outstanding issue for I think a year, for basically ever since we migrated to a different kind of menu. And, um, yeah. yeah. And you've also helped with the back the backtrace work? Uh, the backtrace, yes. Um, that it works on, on macOS, although of course Rene also helped there. Yeah. yeah. Have, have you had a good time? Uh, absolutely. Excellent. Thank you.